But the Bible says in Psalm 143, verse 173, that is why I took that scripture. He says, He healed the broken in heart and binded up their wounds. I call him, and that's why in a church, in, in every local church, in a church like this, the best way to actually view a church like this is a clinic or using the parlance for cars is a mechanic workshop. We, we are all, every Sunday, we come into the mechanic workshop. Just like you go and service your car every month. We come into the mechanic workshop and we're saying, come and change our oil. Come and fix what has broken. I bashed this car. I did that. I did that. My tire is worn. So, so we are really people who have been through a bit of trouble, trauma, and we are coming into the body of Christ and we're coming into church, the mechanic workshop, and we are waiting for the repairer to come and do something to fix me today. And we make the mistake when you think it's the pastor that is the repairer. We're not repairers. We have our own issues too. We have our own accidents we are trying to deal with. The mighty the repairer is who we call Jehovah. I call him, and while I was preparing this, a, 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 um, another title hit me. I call him Jehovah, the mighty mechanic. The one who can fix anything that is broken. The one who can repair anything that is damaged. The one who, after all the doctors can be giving drugs, is not working. This one knows exactly what to give, when to give it. He knows how to panabit your life and put it back together again. And guess what? If he cannot fix the part to make it as it was before, he has, he's the manufacturer. He can manufacture new parts. He can manufacture new parts and he can bring the new parts and he can fix it there. But you have to choose to stay in the mechanic workshop. If you never go and submit yourself to the hand of the mighty mechanic, then the mighty mechanic or the mighty repairer can't do anything. Some of us want to carry and hold on to our pain. So you come into church with pain and you live with pain. You come into the mechanic workshop with the scratch on your car and you live with the same scratch the way you came in. You don't give it time for the repairer to do what the repairer knows best to do. God is not just interested in your body. He's not just interested in your spirit. He's also interested in your soul. And so he says in 3 John 2, that I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper, be in health, even as your soul. Somebody says soul. Even as your soul prospereth. So God is interested in your soul. What is your soul? Your soul is the seat of your emotions. Is the seat of your thinking. Is the seat of your feelings. So God is interested in your emotions as well. He's interested in the way you feel.